Well, here we are, heading to the border of Croatia. Oh, okay, you're gonna close in five minutes. Yes. Okay, do you wanna say hi? Winding around these, uh, these hills, just uh, high above a lake right now. I was in Mostar last night, stayed at the Hotel Pellegrino, it was very nice. I stayed out way too late. late. Slept in till, uh, I think I woke up, it was after 11. And I guess the checkout was at 11, because by the time I got out of there at 12.30, the discount to 55 euros from 60 was off. Back to 60 euros for that room. Now what's that? An old house. You gotta watch for rocks on the road, cars, and, uh, and light. Anyway, I, um, I had dinner at this Legaro place. I had a bottle of wine from a uh, vineyard in Bosnia. The Blatina was the red wine. It was a Bianca or something like this. Got a photo of it. Actually, I did kill a bottle of uh, Blatino red it's only 12 and a half alcohol and actually i was skeptical it got a decanter you could see the little little label there it got a bronze medal from decanter magazine whatever it is this is a 2016 it's vionica it's a platina oh. oh okay you're gonna close Sorry. in five minutes yes. okay do you want to say hi <laughs> say hi hi there you go uh okay how much do i owe you bosnia mat one vino, one mess, a small mixed meat, one salad. Okay, so 75? Yes, Bosnia Mar. Bosnia, all right. We've got 75 marks I've got to put down for this because this wine was 40 marks. It's expensive. It's okay though. How about just 10? It's okay? <laughs> oh shit. 20? No. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. 100. One minute. 75 uh, Bosnia. One minute. Yeah, no One problem. Minute. So it's 75 Bosnian marks. Uh, I had a mez, like a charcuterie plate, basically what it was, and then I had a, um, a mixed grill, included some sausage, chicken, and kebabs, and that was a um, 20, whatever, whatever yeah. and I also had uh, a little salad. Gotta have your greens, or at least fresh veggies. So 75, which translates to about, in today's money, about 30, 36, 37. Uh, it's actually pretty good. You know, it's a, probably the best Bosnian wine I've had. It cost me 40 uh, marks, which is about 20 bucks. And afterwards, I hear this thumping, bumping, you know, that annoying house dance music. And I wander into this club that's kind of nestled in these rocks. And I grab a beer and get a table in the back and just start watching people. Three young kids at a table next to me had a bottle of uh, whiskey, a you know, bottle service with uh, little Cokes. The next thing you know, they want me to stay with them and then they pour me uh, drinks. I ended up buying them another bottle of that stuff, which was about 40, 40 euros. So I spent more on their booze than they did on my wine. But they took a bunch of photos, connected with one of the kids on Facebook, and uh, sent them over all the, uh, the photos this morning. Pretty cool. But anyway, here we are, high in the, the hills of Bosnia, making my way to Croatia. Croat, Croats, Croat, border. Uh, you know, this road kind of sucks. It's fine when there's no cars. We got some cloud cover. I felt a little bit of raindrops a minute ago. I could hit some rain going over these mountains. Uh, I don't know. There's a town, Bosnia, when I when I look at it, I don't think of this, but they've got a uh, they got a bit of a coastline there. Looking out at Croatia, at one of the peninsulas. It's called Neum. Neum. N-E-U-M. And that's uh, probably where I'll end up going through the border. I don't know. I'm headed to a place called Stone, S-T-O-N. It's on a peninsula called the, begins with a P. Anyway, um, I understand they make great wine there. So I'll do that. Then I've got a room at the uh, Marriott, or actually it's a Sheraton down south of Dubrovnik for tomorrow night. John hooked me up. But it's like eight miles from the old town. So I still need to get a night in the old town, I think. That's the way things look here. My last day in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Herzegovina. I see a church. Oh, the other thing that's interesting is I've seen, you know, not a lot, but a number of people flying Croatian flags. And Mostar being a very uh, Muslim town, lots of women and young women in 
full burkas and hijabs. And I just noticed we've got a church up here. Well, in nowhere, there's a church. And like all these little towns, there's a, uh, looks like a new church. So I've got it there to the right. 27 kilometers to the new. So maybe the road gets better. I don't know. That road from the border of Montenegro into Sarajevo definitely strikes the worst road to date. Okay, we're in Bosnia right now and the, the roads are uh, definitely in bad shape, at least from the border right now. It's been about three miles, I think, since the border. This looks like a, you know, grown-up road a bit, you know, in terms of, at least compared to that last little country road I was on. They got little signs on the side of the road, so at nighttime you reflect, you know them. Oh, look at this, a family camping. Or a picnic camp, I should say. Looks like I'm heading into those dark clouds, huh? Alright, that's the story here. Ah, Croatia. Croatia, Croatia. Beautiful Croatia. Look at that. They call it the Dalmatian Coast because the islands are just dotted like the spots on a Dalmatian dog up and down. I just left Stone, a cute town that is uh, with a towering fortress with the longest uh, city walls surrounding it uh, in all of Europe, I'm told. It was just there outside the uh, castle in Stone that I had parked to take a drink and a bite to eat a snack when I pulled on my clutch cable and bam, it was, it was gone. Nothing left. So for the last two days, I've been holed up in Stone in a place called Molly Stone. Well, the town is called Stone, and this is where I, I kind of broke down temporarily. We've got a solution, uh, parts being shipped to me on a bus late tonight. Hopefully I'll have it by 4.30 in the morning. The walls that surround the fort, that, that create the fortress of this town, they say are the longest in Europe. It's quite a hike, but once again, worth it. Started counting steps, huh? Shouldn't I? Yeah, who's counting? 